In this DIY, I'm modifying a iMac mid-2007 to allow it to run Microsoft Office, which requires High Sierra. In order to do that, I have to replace the CPU in the machine in order to get it where it's similar to the 2008 iMac. And I have to replace the Wi-Fi card, which is incompatible with High Sierra, then install a special version of the High Sierra installer that I have on a thumb drive to bring this to the latest version of High Sierra. I'm going to rely on the iFixit guide for replacing the CPU, which is very complete, about a 42-step guide, as well as they have a guide for replacing the Wi-Fi module in the machine. I will show some steps along the way, but I won't be filming each part. I'll just be filming major milestones in the installation and eventually Microsoft Office running on the machine. In this instance, I've taken the memory cover door off. That's been one of the first steps, as well as laying down the machine on the back on a soft surface with, for instance, a towel. And the next step is to use a suction cup. You can get these at Harbor Freight, and you can pull the screen up very easily with these. No large force required to do that. You pull the screen up. and put the screen someplace safe. After removing the screen, the next step is to remove the metal bezel that goes around the outside. There are screws, shorter screws, that go on the top and the sides and keep those separate from the four longer screws that are on the bottom. You can then, laying it on its back, you can very carefully separate, in this case I put my thumbs on the corners, very carefully separate it, and slowly lift it up where you'll be able to disconnect the microphone cable on the top. The next part is after you've removed the screws on each side, you are going to very carefully lift the screen up. Underneath the screen there are two sets of connections. One set in the front and then there's another set in the back. The problem, and this is a gotcha, is that these connections can be reversed but you don't want to reverse them. So before you disconnect them take a marker and mark a pair of them so in this case, I put a one on one and I put a two on the, on the two so I know which ones are paired together. And I did that on the front and on the back. That's just a gotcha on this assembly. After going through the many, many steps of taking screws out and rerouting cables or disconnecting connectors, I finally have the motherboard of the computer out. And you turn it over and on the back, you'll see that there are two major heat sinks on the back. This one is for the GPU, and we're not gonna be messing with that one. Um, that's connected to the video card, and it's, it's a very large, more complicated heat sink. And down below it is a smaller one where the CPU is located. And I'm going to be taking that heat sink off and removing the CPU out of it and replacing it with the CPU which is in this case the T9500 and I'm going to put that in place and then put some thermal paste on it which is the Arctic Silver 5 heat sink compound and I'm going to put that on replace the heat sink and then do the reverse process to put everything back in place. Well I've completed putting in the new processor putting the entire system back together, and then initially attempting to do an install using the thumb drive from a link that I'll put in the description below. The method described says that from the, the thumb drive, 
install High Sierra, but every time I tried to install High Sierra from the thumb drive, the modified thumb drive, it gave me an error. So in the end, I resorted to just cloning another laptop that I had that had High Sierra on it and using that cloned hard drive as the basis for uh, running the, <clears throat> the thumb drives post installation instructions. And in the end, I was able to get High Sierra running on this mid-2007 iMac. The note that a lot of people had said that the Wi-Fi card didn't work, that actually is, appears not to be a problem anymore because the patcher supplies a patch that allows the Wi-Fi to work. So the Wi-Fi card that comes stock with the iMac actually works. So at this point, I have the latest version of High Sierra and I'll be able to install Microsoft Office and run Microsoft Office on this machine.